flooding, and landslide in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Fiona knocks out power to island. Most of the island of Puerto Rico was without power as a Category One hurricane bringing heavy rains and dangerous wind made landfall on Sunday evening, causing severe flooding and landslide. Hurricane Fiona also threatened to damage infrastructure on the island as well as neighboring Dominican Republic as it continued to strengthen and dump torrential rain over the next 24 hours. The storm was causing catastrophic flooding in Puerto Rico early on Sunday evening, the National Hurricane Center said. Several landslides have been reported, government officials said. The storm forced the closures of road while a highway bridge in Utado town in island center has been washed away by flooding river. Lights went out across Puerto Rico just after 1 p.m., leaving only those household and businesses with a rooftop solar or functioning generators with power. Electricity was initially completely out across the island, and Luma Energy, operator of the island's grid, some power had begun to be restored on Sunday night, with priority given to the hospital and other critical community services. Energy officials said. But reconnecting the whole island would take several days. This has been catastrophic, Puerto Rico's governor Pedro Pierluisi told reporters in San Juan on Sunday night. We are responding to the emergency as weather conditions permit. The health minister confirmed earlier that a major cancer hospital in the capital of San Juan was without power after its backup generator failed. An emergency shelter in Sabana Grande, in the southwest, where dozens of locals, including some infirms resident, had sought refuge, was also without power after its generator fell, according to Ruth Santiago, an environmental lawyer and campaigner for Curema Sol, a grassroots movement to transition the island away from a centralized energy grid to rooftop solar. The only thing that can save us this time is that Fiona is not as strong as Maria because so little has changed. The whole transmission system is down, Santiago said from Salinas, a town being battered by gusty wind and torrential rains. The FEMA Money Federation fund to rebuild the energy system after Maria should have been spent on rooftop solar if people die. The Biden government will have blood on its hand. Fiona Center made landfall on Puerto Rico's southwestern coast near Punta Token at 3:20 p.m. on Sunday, with a maximum sustained wind of about 85 meters. The NHC said the storm was upgraded from a tropical storm to a hurricane on Sunday morning. Ports are closed and flights out of the main international airports have been canceled. Flash flood, landslide, and high winds have already damaged crops in the south of the island, with more dangerous condition forecast through Monday. Torrential rain and mudslide were also forecast for the Dominican Republic as the storm progressed northwestward, with the Turks and Caicos Island likely facing tropical storm condition on Tuesday. The NHC said. By Sunday night, aid agencies in the Dominican Republic began evacuating residents from high-risk areas in the country's east. President Luis Abinader postponed a trip to New York to participate in the United Nations General Assembly. Puerto Rico is a tropical archipelago, a U.S. territory located a thousand miles or so southeast of Miami. The main island is mostly mountains surrounded by narrow coastal plains. Where the majority of three million inhabitants resides in towns and cities, it is one of the most vulnerable places on the planet to extreme weather caused by the climate crisis. It was devastated by Hurricane Maria in 2017, when the delay in federal government help contributed to the high death toll and slow recovery. The U.S. President Joe Biden had already declared a federal disaster for Puerto Rico. Mobilizing the deliver of aid to the island. 
It heads to U.S. territory after battering several eastern Caribbean islands, with one depth reported in the French territory of Guadeloupe last week. On Sunday, the French President Emmanuel Macron said France would recognize a state of natural disaster for the island. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.